commutes could be getting easier for those living in southern Indiana. The Department of Transportation is planning a project to improve I-64, and tonight the residents got to give their feedback. Wave News reporter Noel Friel joins us with those details. Located on I-64 between US-150 and Main Street in New Albany, the project will provide added capacity, improved safety, and operational upgrades to the corridor. Many residents at the public hearing saying they're looking forward to some added lanes to help cut down on traffic. Improved 64 includes added travel lanes, interchange improvements, bridge and culvert replacements, as well as new guardrails and concrete barrier walls on portions of I-64, I-265, and US-150. At work time, when people are coming and going from work, it gets congested and crowded, so they, you know, it would really help a lot to have an extra lane. This is going to be awesome. It really is. I'm just seeing how they've designed it, adding the extra lanes of travel, and I think that, that is, is critical. Construction is scheduled to begin as work on the Sherman Minton Bridge nears completion. Improvements made during the project will be designed to connect with those made on the bridge. Thursday, residents got to check out the designs for themselves. Officials with the Indiana Department of Transportation say the feedback from the community has been positive. So far, we have heard positive feedback. Um, this project aims to reduce congestion in the area, which is really a positive thing for motorists um, traveling, traveling through here on their daily commutes. New Albany resident Steve Lawrence gave his suggestions for the project, saying the design process should account for choke points at interstate exits. If you're exiting an interstate, you want to make sure you don't have a choke point where there's not enough lanes of travel. People getting off either eastbound 265 or westbound 265 onto State Street, there is one turn lane. You could design everything great to have people moving on the 265, but if you don't allow people getting off into the city, you've eliminated all the good. If you couldn't make the hearing tonight, but would still like to give your comments on the project, you can reach out to INDOT by phone or email. You can find that information as well as a link to the Project 64 website over on wave3.com. Construction is expected to start in late 2025 and is expected to take up to three years. Noelle Friel, Wave News.